Hi, today in this module we will learn about quality assurance and quality control in microbiology laboratory. Quality in diagnostic laboratory comprises quality assurance and quality control. Quality assurance involves external activities that check the final specific results that may impact on patient outcomes, whereas quality control involves internal activity that ensures diagnostic accuracy. Quality assurance has been defined by WHO as total process whereby quality of laboratory result can be guaranteed. It has thus been summarized as right result at right time on right specimen from right patient with results interpretation based on correct reference data and on at a right place price. Now the factor influencing the quality of the results can either be pre-analytical, analytical or post-analytical. Let's see how pre-analytical factors influence the quality of reports. So right investigations right specimen, right collection technique, right storage transportation, right quantity, right labeling, right laboratory, all are the pre-analytical factor that influence the quality of the report. Now let's see the factors which are analytical and influencing the quality of the report. It includes proficiency of the person who is performing the test, reagent stability, integrity and efficiency, equipment reliability, sensitivity and specificity of a selected test, use of appropriate controls and documentation. All these analytical factors influence the quality of the report. Now let's see the post analytical factor which influence the quality of the report. It includes right recording and reporting, right interpretation, the range of normal values at the correct level, right turnaround time, right report to the right user. So these includes all the post analytical factors and all these pre, post and analytical factors influence the quality of the reports. Now let's see what are the objective of quality assurance. So the objective of quality assurance includes to generate reliable and reproducible result, to establish interlaboratory comparison in the lab testing, to establish credibility of lab among doctors and public at large, to motivate staff for further improvement, participation of legal complications which may follow poor quality results, and support provision of high quality healthcare by reducing morbidity, mortality and reducing the economic loss. Let's see quality control. The quality control covers that part of quality assurance which primarily concern with the control of errors in a performance of test and verification of the test results. Quality control refers to the measures that must be included during each run or assay to verify that the test is working properly. All materials, equipments and procedure must be adequately controlled. Example, culture media must be tested for sterility and performance. Now internal quality control. Internal quality control refers to the sets of procedure that undertaken by a laboratory staff for continuous and immediate monitoring of lab work in order to decide whether results are reliable enough to be released or not. It is concurrent and have influence on individual reports. As at the same time, testing of quality control material along with the patient specimen, it comprises comparison of quality control results to specific statistical limits or range as well as rejection of patient results if quality control is outside the limit. Internal quality assessment, IQA. 
so internal quality assessment is a process of quality assessment of one's own lab therefore each laboratory should have a internal quality assessment scheme and through this scheme it should perform different activities this can be carried out by use of regular certified reference material replicate testing and retesting of the retained items as and when required the samples for internal quality assessment scheme should be included in test run and preferably without informing the technician who is running the test in a bit blind unknown sample and any source of error if found should be pinpointed and a corrective action should be taken now regarding external quality assessment external quality assessment is a process of quality assessment of lab by a competent external agency which is actually a nodal lab the main objective of external quality assessment scheme are to confirm that the laboratories sops and internal quality control procedures are working satisfactorily the then equas scheme help to identify errors to improve the quality of the work and also helps to motivate the staffs according to the who guidelines external quality assurance scheme should operate monthly or at least four times a year now let's see about the equas activity in equas program sub samples are actually provided to the participating laboratory by a nodal laboratory the sub samples provided to each participating laboratory must be homogeneous so that if there is any error it should be attributable to the sample it should not be attributable to a sample variability and instruction and the report should be returned to the participating laboratory within one week after processing of the sample each specimen should be examined in the same way as a routine examination and it should not be treated as a special specimen or as a equa specimen and the result should be referred to the nodal laboratory nodal laboratory should also assist in performing uh, uh, in the poor performing laboratory and should arrange training of the staffs if possible a refresher course should be periodically arranged for the technical staff of particip participating laboratory at the respective nodal centers now the take home message is quality assurance is total process where the quality of the laboratory reports can be guaranteed quality control in diagnostic laboratory is a matter of effective efficient accurate reporting in expected turnaround time and internal quality control program continues to be a valuable mean of means of identifying discrepancy and wetting new ideas with this i finish my talk on quality assurance and quality control for a clinical microbiology laboratory